What's up, everybody? This is Chicago Sports Talk. Michael, apologize if you hear noise, <laughs> but um, all-time Bears quarterback Eric Kramer believes in quarterback Caleb Williams for the Chicago Bears. So, anybody who's not a Bears fan that stumbles upon this video, or you, you're a Bears fan, you don't know who Eric Kramer is. Eric Kramer is. Sadly, one of the Bears' all-time quarterbacks. And he's the remarkable quarterback that set the all-time passing, uh, uh, was uh, has a record of 29 passing touchdowns and pretty much had a good year, had, had a good – I mean, it's sad. It's sad that uh, Eric Kramer has about 29 touchdowns and – he was on pace to have 4,000 yards until he, well, that Eric Kramer was the closest one to get four. No, no, no. We never had a 4,000 yards, so I can't even talk. But Eric Kramer was on pace to have 4,000 yards. He actually came close to breaking the 4,000 yard record that the Bears would have had. So, um, let's get right into it, Bears fans. All right, so this is um, this is just another year, Chicago. He'll be on my show. Uh, he'll be on my live stream sometime uh, this uh, year. So be sure to tune into that. This is Eric Kramer. So just another year, Chicago interviewed uh, Eric Kramer, and Eric Kramer breaks down. I'm not gonna watch the whole video. But it's, it's up to y'all if you want to watch it or not. But I'll leave the whole video in the, in the – but I'll only do the breaking points and then I'll analyze it from there. Well, that's noted good. That's noted for me too because obviously we have to go to La Scarola as always. Cause sure enough. <laughs> can't, can't, cannot not go to La Scarola. So, Very good point. So, so, Eric, the big question is obviously – a lot of people are putting the pressure on Williams. A lot of people think that Williams is going to break 4,000 yards this year, which okay. means he will break your record of 3,838 right. yards on top of 29 passing touchdowns. Well, let's just say one thing. Do it in 16 games. Okay. Because okay. It's actually in 17 mind. games, it doesn't count. So, oh, okay. So, okay. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you're, you'll count it, and everybody else will count it, but actually it doesn't. So, um, uh but my point, I'm, I'm, I'm being facetious here, but what I would say to um, uh, Caleb is don't worry about records because now that's back into that same thing again. Don't worry about an outcome ever. Worry about what your process is from day to day to day to day. One of those days is going to be a game day. The other days aren't. And so you have to put yourself in a mindset where you just go about doing one thing after another in a way that works for you, typically to stay calm, and then let the accountants keep score. Yeah, right? you know, and, what? Let, I, let them, and they will. By the way, that no one's going to miss a beat on all the numbers that get put up, whether it be wins or yards or touchdowns or whatever. So the message to Caleb Williams is that if you can break the record in 16 games, you truly broke the record. That's <laughs> here's, here's no here's just what I'm, I'm, just I, I'm just kidding. I say break it all day long, but I suspect, and I have, like I said, I've never met him, I haven't talked to him, but I suspect he could care less about the end result in terms of uh, uh, records, numbers, blah blah blah. He just wants to have a good thought process for how to do his job every single day, whether it's practice or game. And then leading teams to wins. And at the end of the day, you know, this is another thing. Frank Gans, uh, he was a special teams coach in, in uh, Detroit. And I think you've heard me mention him before. I wasn't even on special teams, but yet I would go sit in his meetings. And that's what he would say. He had, he had all these things that whoever's played for Frank, and I don't care what, what team it was, um, one of them is, hey, rely on your training and let the accountants keep score. Done. I think, Eric, every time I... I'm sorry, sorry. I didn't know I was mute, but sorry I had a brain fart. But this makes me more, 
you know, calmer now in the situation. He's saying, Caleb, break the record in 16 games or 17 games or it doesn't count. However, I do want to – he does mention Caleb's mind should not only be breaking records, but winning games matters. So he wants Caleb to have a mindset of not breaking records, but chase greatness. If Caleb doesn't break the Bears record like 4,000 yards, that's fine. The only thing that we care as Bears fans is if he can lead us to the promised land. So let's continue on with this uh, video of Eric Kramer. So, I mean, I won't take too much of everybody's time, so – interview you i feel like i need to have a shirt made of some sort of quote like an inspiration like right there that's an inspirational quote i think i need to start making some shirts and, I, and i'll always put ek on the bottom that's, that's uh, just- so frank gans <laughs> I'll, I'll just say this um frank gans has passed away now um he he was on the operating table getting a new replacement uh, so um this his legacy lives on years ago um, I took uh, what was supposed to be Griffin and Dylan, just Dylan ended up going. We took a trip back east that included a lot of cool stuff. One of which is we went to the uh, Naval Academy or Naval Air, N- Naval Naval Base. At, oh, uh, and he goes, now Mike's six five, right? So he goes, what do you want your living legacy to be? And I just saw James last night and uh, uh, he he's now in a wheelchair. He was in bed. And uh, and when I walked in his room, he was literally like. We're, we're watching basketball game. He was moving around like no problem and in his chair and knows all the staff on his floor was introducing me left and right. And it's not like I hadn't been there before. But my point is, like, not solely because of Mike, but that's what you want to do in life is you want to. All right. So he pretty much talks about the history. So the point is, Eric Kramer has been a quarterback for longer. He's he has currently the record of 29 touchdowns and has the passing yard uh, record. Um, Eric Kramer knows how you know, the game works and he's a former quarterback. So I'll take his word for it to, to, uh, of Caleb Williams. And the fact that I'm hearing this makes me more calmer, but at the same time, I don't, I'm ex- first off bears fans. If you, if y'all are listening to this, Caleb is going to break bears records. It's not that hard. Our, our the, the rookie touchdown record for bears uh, quarterbacks is 11. That's how sad it is. And rookie passing rating was 2,302 was set by Mitch Trubisky back in 2017. So he's going to break, he's going to break bears records. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it, but Eric Kramer is telling Caleb, don't have a mindset of breaking records, have a mindset of winning football games, because at the end of the day, we have to believe Caleb will win the bears, the Super Bowl. And God knows how long. That's all that matters. He can, like, we we shouldn't, and Caleb should have the mindset of winning football games, not just breaking records. So, and Caleb knows that. At the end of the day, that's what we all want as Bears fans. But let me know in the comment section down below um, if you agree with what Eric Kramer has said about Caleb Williams. I will leave the whole video down in the link description if you want to watch the whole video. Like I said, it's, it's a 20 minute video i i'm not gonna like review all 20 minutes of it maybe i will on saturday with my with my uh co-host get on kid but um if you want to watch it for yourself i'll leave it in the uh, description box as always thanks for watching and bear down